every time an athlete takes the field, he or she enters the game knowing there's a risk of injury. But believe it or not, some studies have shown that the athletes at the greatest risk never even step on the field because they're on the sidelines. We're talking about cheerleaders. So the question is, who's at risk to suffer the greatest impact in sports? Football players on the field? Or the cheerleaders on the sidelines? For the answer, we found a cheerleading squad that volunteered to be tossed up, dropped down, and spun around. The team from California's UC Irvine. This world-class squad will help show us the dangers of a sport that's come a long way from waving pom-poms and shaking booties. I would say we train just as hard as any other sport. We do gymnastics, we throw people in the air, we work out, we lift weights, we do cardio. There's injuries involved, just like any other sport. Cheerleading has become one of the most dangerous sports in America. Every year, 16,000 cheerleaders suffer serious injuries. And it's not just twisted knees and broken ankles. It's fractured necks, paralysis, and even death. In the last four years, there have been more deaths from cheerleading injury than there were in the 21 years prior. Why? Because cheerleaders are flying through the air with increasingly risky maneuvers that put them at much greater danger. But are they really putting themselves in as much danger as a football player on the field? To find out the devastation of a crushing football impact, we brought in NFL hitman, Kasim Osgood. Kasim is a Pro Bowl standout from the dangerous full tilt world of special teams, where big collisions happen on every play. Within the special teams part of the game, you have the biggest hits and the hardest impacts. You get blindsided, bodies get twisted up, banged, mangled. Your whole goal is to destroy the guy that has the ball. On Sports Science, we've measured the force of the fiercest football players pummeling our crash test dummies. But those dummies were stationary. So, for the first time ever, we're going to measure the impact when Kasim puts a high-speed hit on a moving crash test dummy. Kasim pummeled our dummy with a whopping 1,800 pounds of force. That's like having 10 mascots jump on your chest at the same time. So is there a moment in the sport of cheerleading that could result in those kinds of forces? So the highest stunt that we do is a basket toss, and that's where boys throw her up in the air almost as high as the ceiling. Cheerleading accounts for over 65% of catastrophic sports injuries for females in high school and college. Which is not surprising, considering that when a high-flying stunt doesn't go right, the cheerleader is falling from 18 feet in the air. So we wondered, how much force could she experience if she hits the ground? Could it be as much as our football hit? We want to see what would happen if no one caught you and you just went straight to the ground. <laughs> okay. So what Sorry. we're going to do is we're going to rig up our crash test dummy. And we're going to let her fly and <laughs> let her fall. Right. OK, guys, so we're going to take it up as high as it can go, OK? To record the impact, here on the Sports Science AstroTurf playing surface, our team has attached force sensors to the dummy's neck, back, and legs. And we've hung her upside down, a likely position for a cheerleader to return to Earth from a high-flying maneuver. 
I think you just setting it up this way is more realistic. The odds are the girl's gonna come down that way if she messes up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I don't ever wish that upon anybody, ever. <laughs> that was a big hit. I don't think I've seen a football hit that big. Kasim Osgood nailed our crash test dummy with 1,800 pounds of force. How does that compare to this cheerleading accident? That impact force would have been about 21 miles per hour, or over 2,000 pounds of force if they'd hit the ground. Amazingly, our cheerleader falling to the ground generated 200 pounds of force more than our teeth-rattling football tackle. The only other time that we saw Lowe's that large is when Rampage Jackson body slammed our crash test dummy. That's right. Unbelievably, cheerleaders fall with more force than a football hit with as much force as a Rampage Jackson body slam. But it's the awkward landing that makes the hit even more dangerous. With an acceleration back to Earth that generates 2,000 pounds of force, a cheerleader will land so hard that she can crack vertebrae in her back and neck. If a tiny fragment of bone moves only five millimeters, her spinal cord could be damaged and the cheerleader could be paralyzed for life. And remember this. Our crash test cheerleader crashed with a force equal to a Rampage Jackson body slam. That 2,000 pounds was the highest ever recorded on sports science. So if you ever think cheerleaders are just eye candy, okay, they are eye candy. But remember, they're athletic eye candy with an incredibly risky job.